Yeah, I feel like somebody was behind me. They're not. Okay. I'm just being paranoid. It disconnected you. Oh no! Oh, that's why you're not here anymore? Okay, how did they shoot me, but then it just like, just moved me over to this- Wait, did I have armor? And I didn't know it. I probably had armor. It's a, it seemed like I had armor. You think it's the internet's fault? Yes, let's blame it upon the internet. Speaking of Sonya, y'all have seen the big controversy with Sonya Club. Have y'all seen a big controversy with Sonic Colors Ultimate? No, I have not. What did what happened? <laughs> How could you not? Oh, the game is a big buggy mess. Oh yeah, I. I can see people not liking that. You you don't want to play a game that's. You know, not, um, how you put it? That's not very working. <laughs> that's, how, that's how we're going to play it. That's, it's not very working. <laughs> I, I guess that's English. Well, I guess I've been playing for about 30 minutes now, so I guess I could tell y'all the story about the cat. But you have to tell me that you're ready for the story of the cat. <laughs> it's like it gets messed up. You think you're ready? <laughs> you think you're ready to hear it? All right. I know. I know. I know. Milk is playing, so he so he cannot take. Um. So I'll tell. So yeah, I'll tell you the. Yeah, I died. I'll tell you the story of the cat then. So. It started about, what, three, no, about three or four days ago. Because I, like, IRL, I am, I am a ca I am a cashier, and I work outside. So, one day, this, <laughs> no, the cat was not harmed. The cat was not harmed. I promise you there, there was a good there is a good ending to this story. The cat is not harmed. So it, anyway, when I was when I was work when I was working, this random black kitten decides to just come to come up at, from just out of nowhere, and it was hiding under a table outside. So I saw it that day, that one day, and I didn't think nothing of it. Like, and I saw, I saw, like, a bigger, another bigger cat, like, trying to make, to make the, to make the kitten go somewhere, but it would, it, it didn't want to. So I don't know if it knew that other cat or not, but it could have been being bullied by that other cat, and we don't know it. But anyway, so, I saw that, saw the cat, saw the kitten under the table. I thought it was cute and everything. But um, that's all. That's all that happened that day, cause the kid, cause the kitten just stayed outside under under the table. 
and uh, it stayed there for a long time though. It stayed there for about two, about two or three hours, and took a nap and everything, and then it left. So the next day, I come to work, and the kit and the cat has gotten bold. I don't know how it got this bold, but the cat got bold. It decided to come over there where I was where I was at at my register and then just go and hide underneath my register all day. And like so and like sometimes it would come out and then just kinda look at me and then go back under and then it'll come out and look and go back under. Eventually it it saw that I wasn't really bothering it, so it came out and it would just sit on the ground behind me like all day and then so it, so everybody who, who came out there was kept asking me like oh is that your cat like where did this cat come from I'm like no this is not my cat I don't know this cat I, I kind of wanted to go away did I pet it I tried it wouldn't let me it, it like every time you got really close to it it would run <laughs> E gems, welcome. I'm telling, I'm telling them the story about, about this cat that I, was, that I saw at work. So anyway, that and that happened for maybe two days. So, two or three days, three days. Yeah, it was three days. So for three days, this cat has decided it was just going to live underneath my register. And then just come and sit, and just come and sit, like just sit with me on the ground. And then everybody kept on being like, "You should take the cat home. You, like, it really likes you." Like, I'm like, no. It just, it just realized that I'm just kind of tolerating it, and everybody else hates the cat. Like, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not a cat person, so I don't want a cat. <laughs> so I. So, um, what was it? Probably like the third day, I decided the cat has kind of overstayed its welcome. So I, you killed me. So that's I, the cat has kind of overstayed its welcome. And I decided to get, to get some stuff and kind of block off the little area where it keeps hiding at. So it can't get, so it can't get in there. And I got some, and I went out on my lunch break and bought some cat food. And let the cat outside, so that it so that it wouldn't be over there with me anymore. And it worked for a minute until somebody in the giant in the giant truck came by and scared the cat half to death. And it ran back in there and just went and just went under a pallet somewhere. So because it couldn't go back under the register because I blocked because I had blocked it off. So, but it still kind of wanted to try to come be over there with me. And I was just like, no, I need to, I need to make you understand that you don't want to be up here because literally everybody else that comes to work out there is tired of this cat and they don't want the cat around. I don't mind the cat. I was tolerating the cat. Everybody else hate, hated the cat, having the cat around. So, um, I decided I was going to just get a broom and every time the cat came over there I just kind of like well I I didn't like hit it but I just kind of shoot it away with the broom like every like every time it came over there it only it tried it maybe like four times yeah about four times it tried it like after the fourth time um it, it just I think it was just hiding somewhere for a whole hour because like I was about to I was about to get off work so I didn't see it anymore for like my whole last hour of work. So I thought the cat might have been gone. So I come to I, I come to work that next day and I was coming in a little bit later than usual so I wasn't coming in, in the morning. I was at, I actually had a um, closing shift. So the cat like so somebody told me that the kit that they had good news that the cat had been adopted. <laughs> And I was just like, what, how? Well, what did, what did my co-worker said? She had, 
well, she has a dog. So she brought, like, a baggie of dog food to work and fed it to the cat. And, like, this man came up while she was feeding the cat. Oh, you're controlling the <laughs> I'm sorry. But my uh but she was feeding when well, she was feeding the cat and this man came over and, and said that he wanted he wanted the cat so she gave him the little bit of the dog food she had left and he led the dog i mean he led the cat sorry my bad led the cat to his car and then just and they just kind of swooped it up and put it in the car and and uh, apparently she said it didn't bite him or scratch him or nothing we because it's still just a little, it's just a little kitten. This, uh, and the bad thing is the whole time I thought this cat was probably female, but I never got really close enough to look. So, but the cat was actually male. But it was a, it was, it was just, that was just something to have like a cat just hanging around me for about five days. Like, just out of nowhere. There, so you- so now you see, there was a cat story. You shouldn't be disappointed now. <laughs> and the cat was not harmed at all. It got- it got frightened a few times. Especially- especially since the first person who wanted it was one of my co-workers and she was trying to catch it by she went and got like a can of cat food and put it and put it outside and then and the cat went and ate the entire can of cat food and I was like oh my god this tiny kitten that's probably maybe like three weeks old just ate an entire can of cat food by itself and then after it finished eating she was trying to grab it but they well she didn't try to grab it she because she was still working so she had her sister come up here and try to get the cat so they were trying to grab it and the thing was just running all over the place so it so this girl and one of my other co-workers were running all over the place trying to catch this cat and it was hilarious but they got outsmarted by the cat when it decided to run underneath like a series like just a series of things like I can't even tell you all the things that ran underneath it was but it was so funny I wish I would I wish I had videotaped it like it was that funny oh I almost died oh my gosh You know, I hadn't even, I hadn't even really been paying attention to the game, hardly. <laughs> I 